Hi, my name is Masako Watanabe. I live in Tokyo. I'm a five-year survivor of enterohepatic cholangiocarcinoma stage four. Before the diagnosis, I didn't have any conspicuous symptoms, but I was diagnosed all of a sudden by chance. But in retrospect, there was a sign of my illness, which I didn't notice. In August 2016, one morning when I woke up, I felt a severe pain in my abdomen. I thought I have I had broken ribs, and I went to see and I went to see an orthopedic. He carried out an X-ray test and found no problem. Then the pain was gradually eased and gone in a couple of weeks. Then in September. I underwent an endoscopy for stomach, which is a routine test since my mother had died of stomach cancer. The endoscopy found nothing wrong with my stomach. At that time, my physician also carried out a blood test just in case. But I completely forgot to go back for the test result. Then in October, I had a plan for traveling to Belgium. Four days before my scheduled departure, I thought I had better get some stomach medicine uh, for my trip just in case. So I went to see my physician asking for a prescription. Then he told me about the result of the blood test I had in September. It, show, it showed the ALP level slightly elevated. He suggested something might be wrong with my bile duct, but he didn't have he didn't have a sense of urgency and recommended I get a regular checkup in a few months. Then I called my friend who is a physician asking for her advice just in case. She recommended I have a blood test again tomorrow since the previous one was a bit too old. The following day, uh, Friday, I had a blood test again. Uh, then on Saturday, the result came back, which showed the ALP level further reason. He now suspected I might have gallstone I wanted to make sure before my departure that uh, there, is, there was nothing serious which I needed an urgent medical attention for. So he sent me to an MRI test. Then on Monday, the result came back. It showed a large tumor measured 11 centimeters in diameter covering the right part of my liver. Then I was referred for university hospital. I was referred for a surgeon at a university hospital. As soon as he saw the MRI images I brought, the surgeon made the diagnosis of enterohepatic cholangiocarcinoma. He then, he then explained by showing his drawing and said, there is no choice but surgery uh, for radical cure, and it's an urgent situation. And I understood that happened just the day before my scheduled departure for Belgium. Eventually, I gave up my trip. Then he quickly started a series of tests, including CT scans, PET scans, and colonoscopy to rule out colon cancer. One week after my first visit, my surgeon confirmed the diagnosis and my tumor spread into my lymph nodes. He said, usually they do not proceed with the surgery for this kind of condition, but he decided to do so. So I, I was extremely fortunate to encounter my surgeon, and I'm so grateful to him. Until I got the diagnosis, it only took one week since the abnormal ALP level 
was found coincidentally. That's how I got diagnosed. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>